better. Uh, sorry, Lexine. I was next to the recharging station. Are you calling about tonight? No, because then it wouldn't be a surprise. I'm mad at you, Sam Caldwell. Why? Because you somehow forgot to tell me what you're doing today. It's just a routine excavation. Routine? You're extracting a marker. My supervisor Leon's nuts with excitement. Did you know he's a unitologist? This is a big deal. Leon's always been nuts. Anyway, we don't know if it's a marker or just a big rock. That's why we're doing this, so the boffins can study it. Sam Caldwell. If you had an imagination, you'd be dangerous. We'll see about that tonight. Ooh, I look forward to it. Gotta go, honey. I love you. I love you too. Later. Come on. Get suited up quicker. The only date you'll have is with an overtime sheet. <laughs> Say no more. Lexine's already mad at me. She'd kill me if I bailed on her. Well, no one else is standing by. All we're waiting for is you, so don't expect me to make excuses if we're still working tonight. Let's get this done. Sam, is your helmet secure? Sterling, this is Cooper. You're already out of sight. Where the hell are you guys? Yeah, we're on our way, boss. Be there in a minute. You seen that vidlog of the marker that's going around? It looks just like the one back on Earth. Just like the one the Unitologists claim is back on Earth, you mean. And there's one big difference. Earth is Earth. Whereas this beautiful place we call Aegis 7 is nothing but a ball of space rock. I mean, come on, what are the odds? And there it is. <laughs> it's bigger than I imagined. Fixing up the track and loader. All three of us? Damn straight. If this thing gets so much to scratch, Chief Barrow will have us all scrubbing air vents. Hey Banks, what do you need? The wind's blown out some of the track we laid. Rivet it back into place and get it tight. That thing's got to be man-made. Hurry up. Cooper's already pissed off that we're late. Copy that. I'm right behind you, Sterling. Guess all that target practice paid off, huh? One of you TK, the other two rivet the joints. Egan, I'll take these two. And watch your aim. I don't want to end up on crutches like Matthews. Right in the hole. Nice job. Nice work. Alright, Sterling, Egan, get the loader in position by the marker. Finish the job. On it, boss. All right, Egan, let's get this thing on board. Lexine's right. Leon would flip if he saw this. Steady your hand there, Sam. I got it. Almost there. Good. Count 
Current balance is stable. Gyro's online. Ready for load. Stand by. I'm starting a five down. Five, four, three, two, one. Mark. I'm outside. Can you tell me what that bang was? Shit. The flash must have knocked out comms, too. Can't see a thing without the lights. There should be a box of glowworms in the airlock storage chamber. We could use them. You were right. I found a glowworm. Look around. We should grab some supplies before we head down. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Hold on! Wait a second, we don't know what's going on in there. What the fuck? What in God's name are you doing? Get off him! Chenko, stop! I'll... I'll shoot you! You know these rivet guns pack a punch. He's out of his mind! Sterling! Ah! Oh, man. I can't... I can't believe this. Sam, get that rock saw. We may need it. Jesus Christ, we just killed someone! We don't have time to think about that. If we don't fix that tether fast, we'll all be dead. Move! Look out! More of them! They've all gone fucking crazy! <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, guys, let's go. Tether 16's a few levels down. Up ahead. You guys see that? It's blocked. Looks like they had problems down here before. This is a bad idea. We shouldn't have come this way. Sam, calm down. Cut that security line. Use that rock saw you picked up. Coming through. Lexine? They must have put this here to stop people coming up. Can't believe we're doing this. 